currently planning out some content for you guys. A lot is coming up. So on my YouTube analytics, it shows that you guys are the most active on Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to try to just post both days on the weekend. We'll see how it goes. Like, I feel like it's really weird for me to be posting twice in a 48-hour period. But at the same time, a lot of y'all are high school students. And I mean, I definitely watch more YouTube videos on the weekends. So let me know what you guys think of that. Like, just posting two days in a row per week. <laughs> hey, girls. So I am on a mission to take 800 high school girls to design their ultimate productive lifestyle in the next six weeks. If you're interested, go DM me on Instagram, Excel, and we'll chat. Let's go on a run. I'm planning on going on a 30 minute run, so I'll probably do three miles with those 30 minutes. That was such a good run. Recently, I set a promise for myself that I would run 100 minutes per week. It's been adding so much to my life, honestly. I feel like it's such a good practice to keep the promises that you make to yourself. Also, running is a huge thing mentally. My church is hosting a seminar about finances and to be honest I'm like a finance new I don't really know exactly what's going on like in my business in my like cards and that is so bad that's absolutely terrible so we're fixing it I can't wait to learn all about like retirement and like credit today so fundamentals of credit you guys can all pull out um, your deck Hi Becca, thank you so much for running the financial seminar today. I learned so much. Thanks for encouraging me to come. I'm wondering if you could send me like a view link to the presentation about credit because I would definitely love to refer back to that digitally if possible. It's 1.40 p.m. and I can literally feel myself falling into a midday slump. I really just try to do more like critical thinking work in the morning. And now I'm just gonna fold some clothes, like just do something that's a little bit more menial. I really enjoyed the financial seminar though. I learned a lot. Really the most successful people I know just understand their money and I currently don't understand my money as well as I would like to. These are one of the events where I walk from it and I'm like, I'm actually gonna live my life differently because of that. And those are really the events that you wanna be giving your time to. And like the people, like who at your school really helps you grow and you're like, oh dang, like I wanna change things in my life after talking to them. Like, I definitely recommend surrounding yourself by those people, events, places as much as possible. I don't know, I'm just really excited for this new season of life because I refuse to be civilized. What I mean by this is like, I do have an obsessive of personality to a certain extent where like I just love working hard I love self-improvement and a lot of the times I've let myself get civilized by society and like people thinking that like, what I like is weird or just unhealthy you know and I've just found that it took more energy out of me to resist my obsessive nature than to just let myself be myself and I'm really in a season where I'm just like I'm so glad that I'm freaking obsessed with my goals like I want that for all of you guys like I feel like people are just so used to being average that they're not okay with people who are obsessed with their goals Now that I've finished folding my clothes, I'm going to take some time to just respond to text messages right now. To be honest, I am really behind on my text messages. Sometimes it can just be really overwhelming. Like, I don't know about you guys, but to get a lot of texts and I don't like being that person that's constantly responding throughout the day. So I usually like let them pile up and then tack them all in one round. At the financial seminar that I just went to today, I connected with someone who runs a business. So I'm going to follow up with them and see if we can hop on a Zoom call because I definitely like need that mentorship and stuff. Okay, take advantage of this. I know a lot of you guys watching are like my age, like 15, 14, 16. When you were young, take advantage of the fact that you were young. What I mean by this is that older people are so much more likely to help like young talent, you know? Like my achievements really aren't that cool. Like I'm really not that special. But because I'm young, it just seems like that. So then people are more likely to help me out if you are looking for like those opportunities Like you don't need to do this. But try to leverage your age and like being good for your age. You know what I mean? 40? That's not much. And my dad's saying 40 more minutes of running is not that much. Yeah. I guess it isn't. It's just like I'm not really used to running so Even when you don't feel like doing it, please do it guys. Think of your best self. You know whenever I feel unmotivated I think about my best self at 18 the life she's living, the people she's surrounded with. It would be more uncomfortable to not be here than to be running right now. My dog. Hello. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. It's always worth it to do an activity that's like delayed gratification because you feel so much better after. 
I'm going to a nail appointment today. It's been a while since I've gotten my nails done, guys. But I just realized that when I have the nails on, I genuinely just feel like it pulls an outfit together. It makes you look a lot more elegant. Getting and something very simple today, I'll show you guys soon. I feel like especially as a girl, like investing in my own appearance is actually like not a waste of time at all. And this is what we've been rolling with these last couple of months. It's only like 5.30 p.m. right now, but I'm really in a sleepy mood, so I'm gonna change back into my pajamas. The last two things I'm gonna do today is study for my next chemistry test. And after that, I have like a one hour social call with my friend Elizabeth. She's also a YouTuber. Her channel is just Elizabeth Chu, C-H-U. We randomly met because I saw her Instagram because one of my friends was following her, and I'm like, this girl seems like the type of person I'd wanna be friends with. Recently, I've really been realizing the importance of like having a tribe, like I wanna have that dream friend group, you know? So I clearly defined who the people, like the exact definition of the people I wanted to be like friends with was. And I just really felt that Elizabeth met that description, you know, when I saw her Instagram. Hi friends, I'm just popping in here to let you guys know that this weekend I'm actually hosting a live private event. I'm hosting a masterclass on how I stopped procrastinating and started progressing in high school, like my five key elements. I can definitely tell because you're this far in the video that you really want to level up in high school. And I've been talking to a lot of high school girls recently. And the main problem keeping us from our goals is truly procrastinating procrastination and I used to struggle with this so much so if you guys want to learn exactly how to eliminate procrastination in high school just click the link in the description to register we only have about 20 spots left so make sure that you secure your spot with the link down below and back to the video Hey guys, Hi. I'm on call with Elizabeth. She's looking cute. She's vlogging today too. Guys, I literally feel on top of the world after my call with Elizabeth. If you don't have friends in person that make you feel that way, please make friends online, guys. Like, okay, good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Every morning I read my master vision packet. I literally bring this thing to school. I read it like six to eight times per day. It really just reminds me why I keep going, why I keep waking up early. I've recently been shifting my morning routine from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. so I can have a longer deep work session. Today I woke up at 5 a.m. though because I was really tired from yesterday. I'm gonna read you guys some of my master vision. I feel like it's quite personal, which is why I haven't like shared everything online. So this is about my character. Annie is an inspirational leader. When she walks into a room, she immediately raises up the energy and standards of everyone in it. She has shown teenage girls what is possible when you align your mindset to your master vision. She uses her resources to bless her God and her family. She is a high value woman. She's glowing inside and out. She attracts high level men that she is impressed by. Her feminine energy is a beautiful essence that makes men and feel beautifully complimented. After I read my master vision, I go ahead and do some gratitude journaling. Just fill the page with bullets of stuff I'm grateful for. I'm currently enrolled in a 90-day business course, so I'm going to be doing the course modules as my deep work and taking notes on them, and then later today, I'm gonna execute on the notes I took. on a tulip farm. Guys, I'm actually really excited to pick some tulips because this is gonna sound so cheesy, so I'm not even gonna like try to put it in a non-cheesy way. But I've really been enjoying tapping into the feminine energy as of late, and I feel appreciating like beauty and the nature around me is really the key to that, like outside of, you know, just getting her nails done and like brows. Hi. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, the cow tried to like bite my basket. Instagram pictures, follow me on Instagram at AnnieLongYT.